energy comes in different forms. And here we've got a flashcard asking us to name nine forms of energy and also which of them are forms of potential energy. And what does that mean? Well, let's start with the potential bit. So potential means that an energy can be stored easily. So let's just write that up here. Potential energy types can be stored easily. OK, let's jump in and describe some of these energy types. First of all, a spring. If you squash or stretch a spring, then you're storing a type of energy called elastic strain energy. Elastic strain energy. And that is a type of potential energy because you can store it like a clockwork toy or a wind up watch. You're storing energy when you wind it up. This guy blowing a trumpet is producing a lot of sound energy. Sound energy. Now, sound energy is the vibration of air molecules passing on their vibrations to their neighbor and so on until it reaches your ear. So you could say that sound energy is actually a type of movement energy. So I'm just going to skip to down here. And this is a, a speedboat moving. It's got movement energy or kinetic energy. So you could say that sound energy is kinetic energy of, of air molecules or molecules. Um, but for sound, we tend to say it's just sound energy. We've got a, a, a picture of a, an atom with a nucleus in the middle. And we can, we can extract energy from the nucleus of some elements. And this is called nuclear, nuclear energy. A light bulb giving off lots of light rays. This is light energy. And it's light is a part of a family of waves called the electromagnetic spectrum. So I'm going to put light brackets electromagnetic energy because the other members of the family include things like radio waves, infrared, ultraviolet, microwaves, gamma waves, x-rays. They're all the same type of thing. Uh, so that's all comes under the same kind of kind of uh, heading. But light energy is a, a, is a is the basic heading. What about if you heat up a gas, a liquid or a solid? What type of energy do you have there? Well, we can call this thermal energy, thermal energy, or internal energy. You'll hear both of these being talked about. They, they're basically the same thing. They're just the heat energy, if you like, of the material, of the molecules and atoms. Thermal energy or internal energy. Uh, an apple falling on somebody's head. What's happening here? Well, let's go up here. This is gravitational. Gravitational. And we can store this type of energy quite easily by, by uh, lifting things up high. So it is a type of potential energy, and we call it gravitational potential energy. What happens when that apple falls? Gravitational potential energy is being transferred into kinetic movement energy. And finally, when it hits the guy on the head, um, you'll get some sound energy and a bit of heat energy. Last two, uh, we've got a little, a little uh, a flask of chemicals, and this represents chemical. Chemical, and we can store this type of energy. So we call it chemical potential energy. And as an example, the food that you and I eat is a form of chemical potential energy. Our bodies release that energy so that we can move around and think and do all the things that living things do. Chemical potential energy. And finally, we got a, a little a bolt of lightning. This is electrical energy. Electrical energy. And yes, we can store electrical energy, so we can call it potential. Electrical potential energy. 
So there we have nine types of energy and one, two, uh, three, four of them can be easily stored. And so we would, we would describe them as potential energy.